Here we're going to show the migration of a Provox Control IO subsystem into the new Charms Electronic Marshalling IO for Delta V version 11. Here we have a Provox cabinet that is lined with turn panels from top to bottom. And since all of our wiring in this particular system comes from the bottom up, we're going to start lower than the lowest termination panel to ensure that our wires are long enough to reach all of the I.O. on the Charms I.O. rack. So we have an area here where we, we have removed a power supply um, to make room for the Charms I.O. rack. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to take the Charms I.O. rack with terminal blocks facing up and we're going to conveniently mount that in the space that was vacated by the power supply that was formerly in this cabinet. This allows for us to leave all of the existing I.O. panels in place and allows us to then start re-terminating the I.O. for the uh, new subsystem. So we'll secure the Charms I.O. rack securely into the cabinet as the first step. Now, after doing this, we can either install the upper cable tray at this point or we can elect to do that later to give us easier access into the terminal blocks. And I'm going to elect to do that as a, as a third step.